we're out rat hunting today. Um, our clients called us in because they've got an ongoing issue with rodents in the property. A couple of pest controllers have been round, can't determine where the rats are getting in, so we've been asked to come and check the drains. So we'll get the manhole cover up and we'll take a little look inside and see, um, see what we've got to do. We've got a few lines there that we need to survey. Uh, we undertake our drain surveys with um, a push rod camera. This is a push rod camera and it's called that because um, we push it through the drain. Um, and when we undertake rat surveys, we like to change the camera head on it to what we call a pan and tilt camera or pan and rotate camera. And this um, this camera head allows us to um, manually turn the camera within the drain run to look to the sides, up, down, up connections that are connecting to the drain run between manholes. The drains, we call them blind connections. They're connections that connect underground. So the only way that we can look up those is to, is to turn the camera and have a look. So we get that camera swapped over, changed over. So it's quite a quick process. We've sped it up here just for, for the ease of the video. Uh, but once that camera's on, we can um, we can just demonstrate to you uh, we've got a little joystick here on the on the camera box and if we move that from the left into the right the camera rotates um, and that will do that in inside the drain run so we get them um, the camera located uh, to the manhole just so that we can um, we can then push through and we can um, we can take a look at what's going on so off comes the reel camera goes into the drain run um, and as you can see quite intelligent the camera self rotates and self levels so that we know what's up and what's down and as we start to push through now i've already taken a look at these drain runs before making this video and as i come up to this connection here you'll see there's a little connection on the left hand side i've already established that we can't um, identify this so we've flushed all the toilets we've run all the sinks anything that uses the drain in, in, in the in the building we've had a little look and we can't identify it so now we're panning rotating we're rotating to have a look up that connection to see what's going on and I can see there's a build up on, on the bottom of the pipe of stones and debris so that that's telling me that there's something going on with here so the drain run runs down to the back of the house. There's then a communal drain that runs across the back of the house and over that way. We've got the kitchen drain here that connects blind. And our connection that we've got suspect is just here. Don't really know, um, don't know what's going on with that. So what I'm gonna to need to do is I'm gonna to need to smoke test. Now to smoke test, I need to block the downstream side of the drain so the smoke doesn't go in to the main sewer. So I'll push my drain rods down, block it off, and then that allow me to blow some smoke and uh, through the drain run and that'll reveal if there's any issues uh, inside the property to blow down the smoke i've got my handy little leaf blower this is a great little bit of, um bit bit of kit i put that into the drain you'll see my drain rods already in there and once that's in what we'll do is we'll light a, a smoke pellet these pellets are the same um, pellets that are used by flu testers gas testers um, perfectly safe uh, to be used in the drains and to enter properties so we light that we put the smoke in get the leaf blower in behind it and start blowing some blowing some smoke through and that'll pressurize in in the drain run i'll adjust my drain rod to make sure it's in the right place um, and then we'll start checking around the property pretty much instantly we can see that we've got smoke uh, coming out around the, the bottom of the door threshold here um, and we've got some smoke coming out um, showing um, around the footing on the rear corner of the property now this this property's got suspended wooden floors so there's a void underneath the floor so we know that the, the drain run is obviously exposed under this floor, allowing the smoke, and it's even more highlighted here, coming out of the, the air brick that's um, ventilating underneath the floorboards. So the smoke test has definitely revealed that we've got an issue in this line, um, and it's the connection that runs under the, under the property here. So for the ease of this video, if we had an issue with this gully connection or with this connection going up to the toilet, we would look to address the problem in, in this manhole, and we would do that in the outlet here. Um, and we would install what we call a rat flap. Now, a rat flap is a, uh, a one-way valve. Um, this is one of our preferred types that we install. It's a stainless steel unit, um, and it gets installed into the drain um, and allows, still if you flush your toilet, still allows waste uh, to, to, to come out through the drain, um, but what it um, obviously prevents is for any rodents or anything coming back the other way. Um, and it's very important um, to install these um, when you've got a problem still within the house because we want to make sure the rats can get out. So if, there, if there's a baiting regime or something like that, you still want to make sure they can get out before you undertake any form of permanent repair. You can see the valve here installed. It allows the waste to go out, but it doesn't allow anything to come back this way.
So unfortunately on this job, um, I've got no manhole in the downstream where the, where this issue is. Um, so the only way for me to do anything in this line um, really is to cap it off completely by digging it up. Um, so what I need to do is I need to find out where that, that connection is to allow the team to, to come back after me and dig it up. This is called a sonde locator. Now the camera head emits a radio signal and this uh, this little yellow device picks up that radio signal. So once the signal is activated, we can scan. I can find here the, the crosshairs give me my outer perimeter. If I work along the pipeline, you'll see that we, um, we get a couple of marks turn up and these are my son marks. And this is telling me exactly where the camera head is. And what I'll do now is I'll mark this area here and we'll get the team in behind me to dig it up. Hopefully that's a good insight on how we undertake these works. If you've got any questions or any queries, feel welcome um, to give us a call.